The Aurora crew may have had a bumpy landing, but what mattered the most was that they made it back home, alive and well. The Alliance would collect the science from EVE and use it to unlock better technologies for itself and its allies. With the assistance of an upcoming member of the Alliance, the Zagonian Dominion would send a shuttle to the station. It would collect the remaining astronauts, then proceed to decommission the New Hope station. It was no secret that the aging pre-war New Hope station was not only severely outdated, but its maintenance just to keep it running was costing the Alliance more and more every year as the old station was slowly breaking down. The old engine on the station would not be used as it was deemed too dangerous to use in its aging condition, so the station would use up its remaining RCS fuel to deorbit. The New Hope station was an iconic orbital structure. It helped bring the first allied nations together that would form the Alliance. It had completed its vital mission to study ways to help fight the effects of microgravity, leading to the construction of artificial half-gravity spin-type spacecraft. It was there during the first large spaceship construction efforts for the mission to Minmus and eventually Duna. And it was the very backbone to the efforts in building and maintaining a continuous presence on the moon. But like all good things, it inevitably must come to an end.
shuttle would land at a UKC military airport where they would be debriefed and returned back to the Alliance Astronaut Complex to await their next mission. Frontier technology so advanced, its infrared remote system controls 35 components for the cost of a few extra rolls of film. Nikon, we take the world's greatest pictures. Shampoo that lightly conditions normal hair. Get the scientific solution to your hair care problem. New style shampoo. Two, one. Maybelline launches a whole new era in mascara. Introducing Dylo. The National with Milton Nash. Good morning. In today's news, the Zagonian Dominion celebrates their new alliance with the Allied Nations, making them the seventh nation to join the Alliance family. Also, today, the Empire recently launched a large ship headed to Duna for scientific research and exploration. Strangely though, the Duna transfer window has long passed. This move by the Empire has been called reckless by many officials. However, as reckless as it seems, the Alliance has now also made plans to set course for the Red Planet. Using the Aurora, which has recently returned from its mission to EVE, they plan on refitting it with extra fuel and a lander for a mission to Duna. If all goes well, the Aurora will leave for Duna within a month. Up next, a possible new power source is being researched by Academy... The KES Nabairi was on its way to Duna to collect as much science as possible. The Empire would then trade the science with the rest of the world for a price. As of right now, the NK Empire was running low on funds. This mission would either save the Empire or condemn it to financial ruin. Only time would tell. Back at Kerbin, plans were underway to refit the Aurora for travel to Duna. First up, a prototype heavy tow vehicle would be given to the Starway Station to help in its construction. The crew of the Starway Station had to work fast as the window to Duna was nearly closed. This mission should have launched yesterday. In the rush to refit the Aurora, mistakes were made. The new aero brakes were too big and didn't fit right, and the prototype heavy tow vehicle was having problems with its solar panels getting in the way, and its thrusters draining RCS fuel too quickly and having little control. The mission was looking grim. Mission Control would simply scrap everything and start over again, this time learning from their mistakes and not rushing.
Finally, the refitted Aurora was ready for its second mission into interplanetary space. With Duna being so far away now, the Aurora would have to burn harder to catch up to it. In a sense, it would become the fastest spaceship ever launched by the Alliance. But before it could leave Kerbin, there was one more thing that it needed to pick up. It was considered top secret, and as such, only the crew and top officials would know of its true purpose. Meanwhile, the Zagonia Dominion would do something that had never been done before. Even though they were enjoying their new position as an Alliance member, they would look to corner new markets in this blossoming space industry. And with this drive, they would build the first space hotel. Granted though, for the first few years, only the very wealthy could afford a ticket to this space hotel. But it would be the beginning of the commercialization of space. The Zagonian Dominion knew that there was a lot of money to be made in this endeavor. They would try their best to stay ahead of the curve once the rest of the world started to catch up. The member nations of the Alliance would definitely raise an eyebrow when it came to this new idea of commercializing space. In the meantime though, they would renovate their infrastructure using the new science collected from EVE. 
the Alliance would rebuild the Delta using less parts, giving it more power and more capability. The aging Atlas SSRT would start to be phased out because now the Zagonian Dominion could deliver light payloads for a cheaper price. The new Delta 200 would launch its first mission in delivering an upgrade for the Starway Station. Being a brand new delivery system, there were some things that were unforeseen. Thankfully though, the payload was not damaged and no one was hurt. However, the Delta would have to return back to Kerbin for repairs and an upgrade. This new part was only the beginning of a complete revamp of the station.
There were definitely problems that needed to be ironed out, but for the most part, the new Delta 200 was a success. With Zagonia now ushering in commercialization of space, it meant that the doors of space were now wide open. The rest of the nations of Kerbin would try to design and build space structures to try and cash in on this new frontier. But while making money in orbit sounded great, the Alliance knew that exploration and the pursuit of science was the real treasure. <laughs>